Hi guys, so I've been doing frozen dog food for about a year now. I'm going to show you my no-nonsense method. It works for me. Some people may disagree with how I do it. Some people may agree with it. Basically, I'm just here to show you how I do it. So this is Bulmer's uh, frozen dog food. These are 454 gram packets. In this case, these ones are chicken and liver in a ratio of 90, 90% chicken, 10% liver. They do all different types. Usually when I go down there to the pet shop, I'll buy like just a day's worth of just a different one as a bit of a treat for them. So this is minced turkey. These these ones are one of the sort of better value, I think, ones they sell. So these ones are 45 pence for a packet and they come as a tray of 30. So a tray of 30, set you back 13 pound 50. These ones are a bit more expensive. These are like 50p or 55p. You can pay upwards of 65 pence uh, for a bag of dog food in the same size, just depending on what it is. Like you can get salmon, you can get duck. Those ones are just more expensive. So usually, obviously this is kept in the freezer and I'll bring the required amount each day. So we've got three dogs. Uh, one dog will need about a bag to himself. The other dog has about, yeah, it's just over two. And the little dog has just under one. So when it's defrosted, I'll scoop a little bit out of that one and put it in that one. So this dog weighs about 27 kilograms. This dog is about 17 and he needs a full bag to himself. And the little dog's about like seven. He needs just under one. But he's a high energy terror, uh, terrier, so he's always bombing around. And the um, he he's a Springer door, half Springer Spaniel, half uh, Labrador. But he's he's he likes his sleep. So even though he's not he's a lot bigger dog over twice the weight, he he doesn't need that much more food. So you just play around with your ratios. You just start off ballpark. If a dog's about twenty kilograms, start giving it like two two bags a day, and bring it up and down. I mean, you know your dogs like you know if they're high energy dogs, they're going to need more food than ones that love to sleep. So I'll normally get these out of the freezer on a normal day about seven in the morning and then I find by about five, six they're fully defrosted. Obviously it depends on the weather. In the winter time, sometimes I just have to leave them in the kitchen to defrost, but normal day, anything above eight, 10 degrees, they're usually defrosted by, by about five, six, depending on sunshine, things like that. So this one coming at me now is a rescue. He's a res rescue Springador. The blonde one there is also a spring at all. We had him since a pup and then we got the little terrier slash spaniel as well and he's a rescue. So these are our dogs. They come up to this field each day. We've got horses up here so they're running around on this field for at least an hour each day. So this is how they get rid of their energy. Our dogs don't really get a chance to be fat. They're just too busy like, tearing around this field. Some people give their dogs like additives and things like that in the raw food. You, you can make it as complicated or as simple as you want. Uh, I personally don't really believe in additives or supplements for humans or dogs. There's a lot of research, you know, that says supplements don't work and actually have negative effects uh, for humans. And I believe that's quite likely the case for dogs as well. So, yeah, just the raw food. And if we get, if we get uh, like scraps from the table, like uh, vegetables and fruit and sometimes potatoes, things like that, we'll throw it in the dog's food as well. But they're just mostly on a raw meat diet and they're absolutely the healthiest dogs you'll ever meet. Both, all got nice wet noses they never used to have that uh, well this was our first dog so he was the one that's been on dried food with us the most when we switched to wheat free or grain free dry food he had a big improvement and then we went to raw meat uh, there was just another step up again in terms of like his his nose being like nice and wet and uh, just a nice coat the blonde one here we've had him since a pup uh, and the breeder obviously had him on dry food but then quickly after we got him like literally in weeks he was on the raw food and He's an absolutely healthy dog as well. You know, you sort of just feel their coat. It's nice and uh, shiny and they've got good muscle mass underneath. So yeah, you can make raw food as complicated as you want, but I want a nice, simple solution. And this is what works for me. So yeah, some people might want to use supplements, but I don't feel the need for these dogs. And doing it this way doesn't really work out too expensive at all. So the blonde one, he's on the most amount. He weighs about 26, 27 kilograms. He's just pretty much, he's like a lead dog. He's just pure muscle, he's very heavy. The white and brown one is actually quite a lot lighter. He's about 19, 19 kilograms. Or pretty much the same size dog, but just, just hasn't got that muscle mass that the other one's got. We had him since the pup, so maybe the raw food really helped bulk up his muscle mass. But even this one here, it only costs 90 pence a day to feed him, or maybe just slightly over 90 pence, because he actually has just over two packets. And the other two cost like 45 pence a day. So I think that's cheap. You'd pay a lot more if you're buying really expensive uh, dried food. And I think raw meat from Bulmers is, you know, other brands are available. I just use Bulmers because that's what the local pet store sell. But I think 45p a day to feed a smaller dog is brilliant. And even 90p a day to feed a bigger one is also really good value. 
fica 